He three. What type of kid was Lil Snoop? He was rapping then. When he was no. how old? How three old years old. He was like four, I believe. He was rapping then. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. So you 15, you got the baby, y'all running around. Now you turn 16, 17, he three. What type of kid was Lil Snoop? He was rapping then. When he was no. how old? How three old years old? He was like four, I believe. He was rapping then. Um, he would just kind of say something that really didn't make sense the first sentence. And then the next one just would rhyme whatever he said. So the second sentence would make sense. The first one really didn't, you know, wasn't no really words, just something. And then he'll come back with a line that, you know, rhymes mm -hmm. with it. So he was um, very active. I don't know. He was just always different, even from birth. I remember when, you know, he was born, my mom was like, your baby's bad already. And I'm like, what'd he do? They're like, the nurse is like, I need help with this one. You know, when you're a newborn baby, this is what the nurses do. So why mm -hmm. do they need help with this Right. One? So, yeah, he's already, he was already ready. He came in here ready for whatever. <laughs> he already was ready. But, no, he was just... He didn't start getting like, because you don't want to call your child bad, you know, but you, mm -hmm. I have to be real about Snoop's character. He was only child, so of course he was kind of spoiled, but he already came out with his mind made up. Like, you know, he going to do what he going to do, what he want to do, no matter what. And he'll suffer the consequences later. Like, whatever they are, I'll deal with that later. I'm going to do what I'm going to do right now. Who was and a rapper? Being, who, sorry, but um, you being a young mom, it was probably hard for you because you didn't know how to really deal with a young child as much, too. Well, we... That was my friend. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, just think about it. Like, I had a Cabbage Patch kid, so I knew how to, you know, like, mm -hmm. even though it's a real baby, you still, there's excitement of teaching them what you learn. And so we kind of grew up together because we're only 15 years right. apart. So I can't say that because, I, I mean, I was mature. from my, Like I said, my friends, I'm 14. My friends are 20, 22. Okay. Like, I'm very mature. I'm ready. So I was able to teach him, you know, what I what I was able to teach him and then of course I had older friends too. So it's not like I had to do it by myself when right. it came to that. Who did he look to when it, when you say he was rapping? He had to see it somewhere. What was it that influenced him to even think about rap? I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it's in his DNA because his father, if he would have played his cards right, he would have been a rapper or whatever oh. have you. So I think it was just more so in his DNA and um he just lived out his father's dreams is what he did. Did he ever he run with his father? His father ever did keep he him at all? Of yeah, he knew him. Um, I think Snoop was three, three or four when his father went to prison. He did 21 years from there. So oh. even before then, he was in and out of jail. You see what I'm saying? So they didn't get a chance to have that that bond at all. And you never took him to the prison to, to no, meet No, I him. wasn't going to do that. Because, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't with him. Right. Um, Excuse me, Snoop. Went a couple times with his grandmother, I think so. Oh, so but he did get to see him. He got there. a chance to see him when he felt like it. But Snoop just, I let him learn about his daddy by himself. So if he wanted to go, I let him go. But I didn't promote it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.